my friends and welcome to another ASMR video. In today's video I'm going to be taking a look at a 442 magazine from September 1995. So we have Eric Cantona on the front cover, probably at the peak of his powers, you would say, mid-90s. He obviously um, was banned at the start of 1995, I think it was about January time, and he was banned for until about October time, I think. So this is why it says he's back and Fergie tells us he's training like a beast. So the first thing I noticed about this magazine is that it says not for resale. So it must have come with some, like, in a two-pack or something like that, some special thing. Sometimes you used to get these random things where it was like a loaded magazine and 442 together. Or I might just made that up. Anyway, we got I don't want to play against a particular team. I play to fight against the idea of losing. I don't know what that relates to. They used to have a spine competition actually on 442. We're trying to see that. Burn, I breed Santiago, chew in. wonder what that relates to. It's like a little teaser. So let's take a look at this magazine. Let's try and get it so you can see it. There we go. Reebok advert by Brian Giggs. So we get straight into the main article. later than this. Less, less than two years later. Oops. God, what how awful is that shirt? Look at that. So, quite a bit back from Eric Cantona, a good article, plenty of work. Oops, I always do that. Sorry, that's going to happen more often now because I've had to change the routine of where I put my my partner used my desk and inconsiderately just put the thing to one side and now I don't know where it was so apologies if I keep hitting my head so I've got more cats and I here oh some lovely pictures of cats and I there look at this Psychologist writes about him. An advert for a Vauxhall Frontier. Lots of text here, isn't there? Oh, I've done it again. Most of the top clubs have huge debts. That's why Baggio cost AC Milan 500,000 less than Coleman cost Liverpool. This is predictions for the league. They would predict Liverpool to win it. They didn't. Newcastle, second. I think Newcastle did come second. Man City, Southampton, Bolton relegated. That's the season City went down. Possibly Bolton did. I know Southampton didn't. FA Cup Arsenal, no, that was United as well. Coca Cola Cup, that's now the Carabao. Uh, that's uh, Tottenham, they reckon. So, not great predictions to be fair. Oh, I'm getting annoyed by this now. Is any player worth 8.5 million? Are they into their talking? Just roll with it, single right for there. Uh, 
That's quite good. So he gave the birthdays of seven footballers to an astrologer. She didn't know them from Adam or Stan. The planets knew all about them and they were quite happy to spill the beans. That's quite interesting. So far, I think this is actually quite a good magazine. I think I remember those sort of adverts. The boys are the Ravers of the Premier League. This, this squad kicked off in the 91-92 season. The one Ravers are placed in the Premiership. Soonest. Shearer looks there. saw Alan Ball as a manager that with a bit of a funny voice uh, not very good always just a relegation type manager but I've since heard from Evertonians that he was absolutely amazing I suppose the obvious comparison just because of his looks as well as someone like Paul Scholes but obviously Alan Ball won the uh, World Cup didn't he with England so obviously a really good player as a child you don't really know this sort of thing you just see him as Someone like that, with his flat cap. How old is he? The bit five though. He looks old there, doesn't he, for 50. He's only 10 years older than me at that point. Good article about him though. Chaplains. <laughs> Jeez. Look at eight clubs that began as church teams. Some Hampton St. Mary's. That's obviously their um, their ground, St. Mary's. Boscombe, St. John's, Bournemouth. Of course, Bournemouth were. Um, used to be called Boscombe. Okay, quite interesting one. Oh wow. 
Let's go with George Best. McGrath came up to me and said, put the ball through my legs and I'll kill you. So I did it in the first five minutes. season as seen by 29 pillars of football's community. So it's just asking people about their opinion. I've heard of some of these people. Obviously Bobby Robson, Bernard Blair, James Richardson, Jean Blair. It's quite funny. I like that kit. What a sponsor, Muller. What a great sponsor that is. Look at all these sponsors. Look. Auto Windscreen, Newcastle Brownell, Brother, Muller. It's all paying companies these days. I like them. They're a bit thin, a bit thick to call them pinstripes, but I do like that type of shirt. so cool having like 
like yeah you've got Liverpool, Newcastle, Leeds, like they just look really good. Obviously miles away from needing to shave but yeah I think I was drawn to Liverpool because it was red. I've got all sorts of say Ireland would have won as well actually it's quite nice. The Arsenal's a bit boring really you know considering they play in red. Same, same with Ipswich. Striker 95. Gary McAllister. Great player, Gary McAllister. So underrated. Let's move this across a bit. Never saw the attraction with these things. So yeah, he'd be not my number one. But um, Arsenal just signed him in real life in this one. I was there, Borrow, too posh for Liverpool. Peter Brown v Liverpool, 991, further to 791. Liverpool went down to posh. This was a Liverpool were awful though, just around the time. Sooners took over, it must have been. Oh, look at that, Burry. Don't think they exist anymore. Maybe they do. They're not in the league anymore. Look at that, birthdays. Wow. What a blast from the past that is. They always used to annoy me about birthdays. So they always used to sell football stuff, which was great. But it was mostly Man United. It was like they had, a, they had some sort of deal with Man United. I don't want Man United stuff. They're quite nice. A bit random for the Arsenal to have the Britain flag on it. New signings there Milosevic, Coy Moore, Kanchelskis, Craig Shaw, possibly Burkamp, Ferdinand Hullet. He kind of doesn't really belong there, but the rest of them, wow. This 40 minute video is commendable effort. Story of the 94 95 season. So I wasn't going to Bournemouth at that point. <laughs> I wonder how much that is. 12.95 for a 40 minute video. Jeez. Thank you. 
this watch. I loved it. Masterpiece news. And then we have a smoking advert, which I am very glad to say don't exist anymore. So there we are. A look at the 442 magazine from September 95. Apologies for the banging my head and shaking the camera a few times. I'll get used to the position. I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you on the next video.